Oh, hey, YouTube. Is age really just a number? Huh. Let's talk about that a little bit as it pertains to motorcycling. Yeah, really, if you think about age, and I know the demographic of a lot of my viewers out there, a lot of you guys watching, a lot of my uh, YouTube community, uh, as we call it, are, uh, you know, between the ages of, I don't know, anywhere between the ages of 45 and 70, okay? Maybe even a little bit, uh, maybe even a little bit more veteran than that. Uh, I don't like to say old. I hate that. I hate that terminology. And I think, as we uh, gain years of age, I think we we start to hate that word "old" even more and more and more. It gets to the point where you don't, um, you know, you don't feel old. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but people always say that as, as you get more senior in life, as you get more experienced in life, you start to look at life and, and they say, age is just a number. Well, let me tell you what is, to me, as I've aged more and more and more, and a lot of you know I'm in my uh, upper 50s, I get so many more aches and pains. Oh my goodness, I get aches and pains. And I'm not complaining. Now, a lot of people said on my videos recently, and I, I take this, I don't know, I, I take this as uh, like they're sticking a, a knife in my back or something. HDR, all you do is complain about stuff. And that's not true. That is not true. I'm a very positive person, very outgoing person. And I love life, and I love everybody, and I love everything around it. Okay? Maybe I don't love everybody, but you get the general idea. But I gotta not complain. I'm not complaining about age, because with age comes a few positive things. But man, I've been getting more pains, you know? I've been working with my buddy Henry, and he's a 73 now. And he can work circles around me. I mean, absolutely work circles around me. The guy is like a tank when he comes to working. And uh, now, does he get aches and pains? Sure, he does. Absolutely. He'll call me the next day and say, oh, man, you know, I'm kind of sore. Um, but, man, I've been doing work with him and working on the ground and working around the boat, and doing all kinds of different stuff on the boat and getting it ready uh, for, you know, make it uh, to make her seaworthy. Okay, lake worthy. You know, you get the idea. But, oh, my goodness. And uh, the bad thing about it is, uh, the next morning I wake up and I am like hurting, man. Uh. But, uh, so yeah, so I wanted to bring that up today as a topic to you and say, look, is, is that, and, and it could be any age, man. You could be 25 and you could have some pains going on, you know. You could absolutely be 25 and have some pains going on. 30 and you're going to have pain. You know, I had a nephew who was 33 years old, you know, and um, chronic, chronic back pain all the time. Because he was, he was a roofer and he had chronic back pain all the time. So, any of us can have pain. But I'm just saying, as you get older, it gets very predominant. Somebody once said, you can sneeze or break a rib. Isn't that funny? Think about that. A sneeze, like something you did your whole life. Now you get over 50 and you can sneeze and break a rib. Getting out of bed. Getting out of bed, you can like pull a side muscle, you can tweak a, tweak your back. Even getting in bed. Even hitting bumps like that, it's probably not really good for my body. But you get the idea. But as we age, you know, it's like my mind still believes I could do things like I'm 25. My mind will work like I'm 25. My, my mind will work my body like I'm 25. 
But here's the funny thing about that. When I wake up the next morning, my body tells my mind, hey, you screwed up. You made a bad decision. You, you, you got to not overwork this poor man's body, Mr. Mind. So, I mean, that's just the way it is, right? But let's talk to this pertaining to motorcycle riding. And I don't know why my foot is sticking to the side of this thing. There's something sticky on my floorboard. That's really weird. So, I was watching a commercial on TV the other night for UPMC. Now, if you don't know what UPMC is, UPMC is a, is a health network, at least here in Pennsylvania. It's pretty predominant in Pittsburgh, and I don't know about the rest of the country. I guess they're all over the world, though, but. And there's a gentleman on there. He's, he says he's 75. No, he, he may be. I mean, he looks like he could be 75, I guess. And he had a triple bypass heart surgery. And he goes, UPMC gave me uh, another chance at life. And that's wonderful. He said, now, I never thought I would be able to throw a leg over a motorcycle at 75, but I'm still riding my motorcycle. That is awesome, man. At 75 years old, he's still riding a two-wheeler. I don't know if I'll be able to ride a three-wheeler when I'm 75. I don't know. And I know a lot of you are 75. I know a lot of you are or you know crescent 80 and you're still riding motorcycles bless you guys man uh, henry's 73 years old and he rode until last year until he sold his bike uh, because he wanted to find something different as of yet he has not everybody knows that story so we're still waiting for my man to uh, get himself some kind of motorcycle to ride around on i don't care if he buys another sportster or something or you know a little honda and he'd be out there riding with me today be somebody to talk to but i got all you guys to talk to so i'm good to go So, you know, when do we call it quits? When, when is that magical? That's not a number, obviously, right? Some of you are 80, some of you are 75. I've, I've ridden with a guy that was uh, 90 years old. He was still on two wheels. So it's not, it's not about an age. You can't say, at 80 years old, I'm going to stop riding. Nah, that's not going to be it. Not going to happen. Uh, because it's based on how you feel, right? How, how you feel, how your knees are doing, how your hips are doing based on how we feel to know how we're going how long we're going to ride two wheels or or three wheels or um, but I don't see myself as a trike person I don't know I don't know I just I find them very hard to steer now I don't own one I've ridden a couple but uh, you can let me know in the comments what you believe I mean you know the trike riders out there I love all you guys I think you're wonderful uh, motorcyclists I do see myself as a spider person. Spider handles a lot easier. Uh, it's just a reverse trike, right? Just backwards. And uh, yeah, but Mrs. HR is not going for that. She goes, when that happens, you're gonna ride by yourself. She said, you might as well get yourself a sporty little, uh, a sporty little spider because she said, I am not riding with you on a spider because she don't like the way they look. I mean, I like the way they look. Uh, People's done entire videos about the road glides. I don't like the people like I don't like the way the road glide looks, so they won't buy one. And that happens. So I told Miss Sage, you're gonna be very lonely when I go on two weeks vacations on the spider by myself. She goes, Well, I could fly out and meet you. I said, No, if you're not riding on my spider, you're not gonna meet me. What the heck? What do you think? Meet me. What do you mean by that? So I don't know. And these are just thoughts when I'm riding the bike out here that run through my head that it's like, how long will I still be riding, you know? If this car doesn't get out of my way, I won't be riding much longer because he's going to run over me. <coughs> All right, so as always, you know, we always ask you anyway in the comments below, you know, down there, you know, how the comments are all down below the video. Light it up, man. Let me know what you think, you know? I mean, you don't have to tell me in so many words how old you are. You know, I don't I don't mind. I mean, that's one thing. Let's blow by this guy here. Watch. Six gear. Let's see where we get to. All right. Six gear. Six gear, 90 miles an hour. That's pretty good. That's about as fast as I ever want to go. 90 is uh, about the top limit for me. 
I know some of you speed demons out there, Bronco Rod. Uh, not mentioning any names, but <laughs> oh man. But yeah, in, in so many words, let me know what you think. I mean, I don't know how much longer I'll be riding two wheels. Um, I hope I can do it through retirement because I want to keep this bike. This is my retirement motorcycle and I want to keep this bike. But maybe one day I have to train it by a spider so I can still be out here riding with people, you know. Riding with all this group of people behind me. See that group? There's nobody behind me. How about the group in front of me? There's nobody in front of me. You know, hashtag ride with HDR. Uh, looking for groups to ride with in the southwestern Pennsylvania area and West, and, uh, West Virginia area. And down here around Weird, Morgan, not anywhere. Hit me up, man. Let's go for a ride. But, uh... Alright, yeah, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Let me know what your, uh ideas are behind that I'd love to hear from you and uh, uh, you know are you still riding two wheels maybe how old are you and uh, so many words you know tell me exactly uh, say above 80 about 90 above 100 all right I'm not gonna let this video get any longer you get the general idea man is age just a number or is that a bunch of bull is that a bunch of BS that's what I want the real answers to be because to me, age is not a number. I feel it every single day. I wish I was 25 again. All right, thanks for watching, guys and girls out there. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe. Harley Day Rider be down and out in the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now, everybody. We'll see ya. I wish I could hit 100, but I just don't trust a motorcycle to do it. And I know if I do it through this stretch of road right here, there will be a cop on my butt. Like, I don't know. Like, this road right here looks really good for it. Uh, of course, that guy in back of me is like flying up my butt. <coughs> Let's let this guy pass me. There he goes. Now if we're getting pretty far ahead, 